Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing X-Men Schism issue 1, so this is like the big X-Men event that we all been waiting for last um, year, I think it was during summer, it definitely was during the summer, um, we had X-Men Second Coming, and now we have X-Men Schism, so let's see if this one was as good as X-Men Second Coming, because I really did love X-Men Second Coming, it was one of the best uh, story arcs in a while. Alright, so let's talk about the cover. Um, I like the cover, uh, it got me excited because, like I said, I was pretty excited for this X-Men Schism thing, um, I hoped it was going to be as good as a story arc as X-Men Second Coming, so I was really excited just seeing the whole title and uh, so official, it wasn't a prelude anymore, it's jumping into the story arc. And, um, the art is really well done on the cover, um, I thought maybe they would be Wolverine and Cyclops would be fighting each other, but they're fighting on the same side, so it's not as much of a schism yet, so that's the only thing I didn't really like. No, it's not a schism, because they're kind of still on the same side. Um, alright, so let's jump into the story and see what's going on. Alright, so Cyclops and Wolverine go this meeting thing to say, you know, um, mutants are good, and let's try to get Sentinels away. Um, you know, I'm uh, Psychops saying uh, I've been dealing with these sentinels since I was like 16. Let's just try to get them away. Let's try to make mutants and humans. You know, let's just try to have peace now. But this guy, this mutant guy, he comes in and he um uses his power to make everyone tell the truth, their, their deepest darkest secrets. And all the politicians are like, oh, I cheated on my uh wife. I I killed somebody, all these deepest dark secrets showing all these, they do have all these deep dark secrets, and um, maybe these politicians aren't the best people, and they're trying to help the X-Men, even though the X-Men wasn't a part of this mutant. Um, then, you know, the X-Men have to deal with this, what's going on here, um, how are we going to make uh, the humans like us, and that's always been their problem. But, um, also, just the Sentinels, what are they going to do with that? They just want them to get away, like it was in the beginning of the issue, that they just want them not to be there anymore. And now there's even more of them, because they attack them at that place. Um, and now there's another sub-story, um, going on here with this guy, this little 12-year-old kid, killed his father to be ahead of his business and the father was um all about inventions and stuff uh so he was very uh big businessman and now he killed his father so he's the head see he blackmailed his everybody and now he's the head of the business and he joins the hellfire club which i was very surprised like oh this is gonna be interesting we're getting the hellfire club in there so and that was the end of the issue it was a pretty uh big thick issue it was definitely not like a regular issue. I think it was a little bit longer, I would say. But it's a very good issue. Um, I think the story, there's a lot of good points and there's a lot of bad points. Especially about the story, what the story arc is called. It's called X-Men Schism. But we didn't have any, like, break it apart. I was, like, expecting, you know, maybe at least a little argument. But everyone's like, yeah, I'm on your side, Cyclops. And even in this issue, Wolverine's like, you know, I'm, I'm on your side, you know, whatever you plan, I'm on your side. Um, and that was in the beginning of the um, issue. But this is X-Men Schism, so shouldn't this be breaking up the X-Men? In the first issue, at least seeing a little bit of tension. We didn't see any tension, just everyone agreeing with each other. So I was disappointed in that fact that we didn't really get Schism just yet. Um, what I did like, though, is that there was this one scene, I'm a big Kitty Pride fan, so the one scene that she was in, I really enjoyed, and if you're a big Kitty Pride fan and Wolverine fan, you might like this scene, because Wolverine, he puts everybody under his wing, I would say, because he's like the father figure, he picks out a girl, and he's the father figure for them, he's definitely the father and the best friend. Uh, for those people, Jubilee, Kitty Pride, and now it's Edie. So, um, Edie in the beginning of the issue, she's like, oh, you know, I, and I was persecuted as being a witch, but all I was is a mutant, all I ever wanted was a doll. So, Wolverine's like, alright, gotta remember that. 
and he asked Kitty, you know, Kitty, um, could you get me what, a doll from whatever, when you were younger, that I could give to Edie, just try and make her a little happier. Um, try, like, be a father figure, kind of. Um, he's like, yeah, sure. It's like, uh, you know, I found one, you know, dug up. But, and she was just talking about how, um, how Wolverine taught her how to use a sword when she was so young. Uh, so I just really, I really do love the relationship between Kitty and Wolverine. I'll show you a page for that. And giving the doll and everything. I, I love their relationship so much. I love the father and daughter relationship. Just because I think Wolverine just never had a daughter. And I think maybe he always wanted one, it seems like. Because he always takes a girl under his wing. And I'm, I'm guessing now, um, seeing from this issue, I guess because it's such a, a big story arc, I would say. Um, a lot of people are picking up. Um, maybe that's why they mentioned this Edie thing, saying that Edie might be the next person that Wolverine's gonna take under his wing. So I'll have to see. And I always enjoy seeing that, and hopefully we'll see maybe other, um, like Uncanny X-Men, or maybe more in this story arc, more development in that, because that was definitely my favorite part, and definitely can't wait to see more from that. Um... Uh, I like that the 12 year old kid, you know, he's the head of the Hellfire Club. I thought that was an amazing ending. Uh, definitely um, gonna bring some more stuff into the story arc. I'm very excited to see what happens next. Again, only problem is how are we gonna have X-Men breaking apart? Who knows how. Um, I'm excited to see how they break apart because that's gonna be the whole story. And we'll have to see what they're not agreeing on. Um, I really like the art for this issue. Glad they picked this art. Um, definitely really love the art, so no problems there. I really love the art, actually. Very good for the X-Men. Very good pick for the first issue of the story arc. Um, again, the only problem was no schism. I would give this four stars because schism is a big part of it. But there's a lot of great things, especially if you like the Wolverine and Kitty Pryde relationship. Even if you like Jubilee and Wolverine. Uh, relationship you might really like this see if Edie is gonna be a new Jubilee new Kitty Pride uh, you might like this issue because you definitely if you like Cyclops and Wolverine you'll like this issue because you can see a lot of them in this issue uh, I think it was definitely a great start for the story arc and I really can't wait to see what happens next I at first wasn't gonna pick up this issue and then I was like you know what I'm gonna give it a chance I'm very glad I did give it a chance so Four stars, and I say pick it up, and I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this review. See ya.